Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. That's the CN Tower in Toronto. Um, I took that uh, while we were in a boat. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share 2 Corinthians 8 verse 9. It says, You know the generous grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, so that by his poverty he could make you rich. Here's my poem. By his poverty we were made rich. Jesus Christ was born from a poor family. He could have been rich, but he chose poverty. We all know that he is the richest person, yet he sacrificed comforts for our redemption. By his poverty we were made rich. By his death, he ransomed us from sin. Do you appreciate the sacrifice he made for you? Do you praise him after he gave you a life that is new? Here's my essay. In my late 20s, I read the story of St. Francis of Assisi. He came from a wealthy family and squandered his father's money. money. Sounds almost like the story of the prodigal son. He enlisted in the army and later on became a captive for a year. It probably was during those times of captivity that he found his spiritual awakening. He had visions and later on he embraced poverty and begged for other poor people. He started preaching the gospel on the streets and later on had many followers. He founded a Franciscan order who embraced poverty to build God's church and help the poor. Christ chose a life of discomfort rather than a life of prosperity to give us a rich life. Prayer. Lord, forgive me when I complain from discomfort and inconvenience. Reflection. How can poverty draw you closer to Jesus? Um, I think that when we suffer, we have the tendency to run to the Lord because in our suffering, there's nowhere else to run but to Him. Um, when usually we're not suffering, we forget the Lord because uh, everything's fine, so we don't need to. We don't need Him most of the time. But in times of crisis, especially in times of poverty, we run to Him. Poverty is not only just about money, but it could be a, a spiritual poverty or em emotional poverty when you're deprived of, of love by the people you uh, who claims uh, who loves you or you are uh, spiritually poor because um, you have been uh, living your life in sin and that you um, have that guilt in you that um, you have been wanting to get rid of. So I invite you to have an appreciation of how Jesus gave up a rich life to set you free, to set us all free. So. Um, he had a choice to live a life of poverty, of, of, of being rich, because he's rich, he owns everything. But then he chose to be poor so that the poor will realize that Jesus has been there where you are right now. So it is important that you know that he, even if he was God, um, assumed the body of a man so that we could be one with him. Thanks for watching and I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Have yourself a wonderful day. God loves you so much and so do I.